We're back here on Holo Holo, and before the break, celebrity artist Tiffany Lee and model Jane showed us a very easy pun look with some red lipstick, very clean. Now, Tiffany and Jane are going to show us how to do a power braid with a very summer glowy look. Welcome back, ladies. <laughs> now, Tiffany, um, tell me a little bit more about this power braid that you're going to show so, us. So, basically, it's just like a high braid uh -huh. that has a so it's a high ponytail. Okay. Sorry. It's a high ponytail that will have a braid. It could be any type of braid. It could be a three-strand braid. Mm. Um, just something strong and simple. Okay. So it's kind of hard to like just yeah. very simple. Okay. That gives it. But easy to do, right? Very, very easy to easy do. Very easy to master. Yes. Okay. I want to see how to do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> ready to get started? Yes, Jane, I'm ready. ready. Spin around. Okay. And with the power braid, it's really fun to uh -huh. do it a little bit higher, but it's really up to you and. How long your hair is. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush her hair. And for this, you do want a clean ponytail. Okay. And I'm gonna spray some shine spray. Mm -hmm. So using a rubber band or a hair tie, mm -hmm. just going to secure this ponytail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab one little section of hair mm -hmm. and we're going to just tie it around the area oh, where we tied nice. the hair just yeah. to clean it up and hide it. Hide, yeah. And then we're going to secure it with a bobby pin. Okay. And you want to secure it with something that's very close to your natural hair color. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to bring it in there and then just kind of tuck it in. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to start on her braid. Okay. So. With her ponytail, mm -hmm. we're gonna do a very strong three-strand braid. Okay. So we're going to section it into three okay. parts. And then just going to do a standard plate, uh -huh. which is also a braid. So a lot of these like classic braids are coming back. I don't yeah, know if I you've noticed. That, yeah. yeah, so a lot of people are just wearing very strong mm -hmm. cornrows, <laughs> braids, French braids. Right. It's a lot of fun. It's very simple it is, and easy for the summer. Yeah, it is. I Out like that. Out of your that. way. So if you just show on the side view, it's uh -huh. so strong and bold it and powerful. Is. Yeah, so much fun, it kind of dresses it's, it yeah, up. I was going to say, I like how it's fun, but very powerful. Yeah, so you can wear it yeah. in the day, you can mm -hmm. wear it at, at night, night, change yeah. it to a dress, and it still looks really beautiful. Yeah. Not too, um, I guess some hairstyles, like it's hard to transition from yeah, day to night. So this is. is a really fun, I like that style. one. <laughs> and then how would you do her makeup? So we're going to go ahead and give her a very soft glow. Wow. So last year was all about contouring, right. but it's now going away from that. Uh -huh. And it's more just like really accepting like just a soft, natural face right. with highlighting the skin yeah. in the right places. So okay. um, Jane, you know, she just has her foundation on and mm -hmm. then we're going to go ahead and apply her um, we're gonna apply highlighter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this highlighter right here. Okay. And I'm gonna use a fan brush. Oh. So using a fan brush is really easy and it's um, kind of like a no, you can't really make a mistake, okay. which is great. So I'm gonna go onto her, her high cheekbones mm -hmm. and we'll just have you look up. Okay, great. So basically the place you want to highlight on the cheekbone is the upper okay. part right below the eye. Okay. But not all the way up here. Right. And you want to stop about the apples of the cheek. Okay. Another Got guideline it. is the iris. Oh. The outer part of the iris. Okay. Is a good guideline it's as a well. Good guideline. And so mm -hmm. you just gently yes. place it. So there. with the fan brush is so easy because it just lays right on top. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna do the other side. Mm-hmm. I mean, she already has a natural glow, so yeah, <laughs> she already she doesn't need too much. But this definitely enhances mm -hmm. the look without making her look oily. Right. Okay, and then using my finger, uh huh, you want to just do just the bridge of the nose. Okay. And then that's about it right there. And then uh -huh. we're gonna do the cupid's bow. Oh yeah, I've okay, always so heard relax that. Okay, so relax your lips. Okay, and then I'm just gonna. 
Place it right above it. And then in yeah. any areas that she does have shine, we're mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and just mattify it with just powder. Okay. And it just, only in certain places. So typically we get oily on the T-zone. Right. So we'll just start on the forehead, the T-zone area, but bring it down to, up to the point where I had the highlight. Right. And another area that we tend to get really shiny is mm -hmm. just right yes, the inside. Yes, that's me right there. Yes. <laughs> so it's really important to know the placement of where you're bringing the glow and then mm -hmm. where you're mattifying, mattifying it so it doesn't... Okay. So it just focuses on that certain area yeah. where you want it to glow and shine yeah. and look just really fresh. Okay. I love it. <laughs> it's very simple. It's very easy. simple. I love very that. Very easy. <laughs> can you come back and show us a yes, couple more of looks? Of course. Yes. <laughs> but, definitely. Um, if we can actually get more looks from your YouTube channel, yes. right? What's your channel again? It's Beauty Stylist. Okay. Thank yes. you so much, no, Tiffany thank and Jane. Thank you for being our model for today. Thank you. <laughs> again, for more info on Tiffany and to check out her other videos, free tutorials, be sure to head to her website or her YouTube channel channel all the information is on your screen we'll be back